watch the dog spit out this and my penis is protruding from my pants. I will then put implement the rear naked chunk upon said beast. This is to rear it unconscious and unaware of the acts soon to follow. Chapter 2 feel relaxed <clears throat> no no <laughs> i feel anxious <laughs> you're gonna rape my dog i'm gonna make uh anxious asmr I think Dude, that's, that's my new endeavor i love it yeah <clears throat> that's actually that would probably work <laughs> to be honest yeah some sure somebody will be interested in it. yeah yeah psychopath yeah. yeah that's your audience though so Perfect. You know? Unfortunately, oh, yeah, I see it. It's really starting to seem that way. Yeah. Um, hey, you gotta have someone. Yeah. You know? Every everyone needs a voice, and you know, <laughs> I give a voice to the people that should probably not have voices <laughs> in the first place. Um, what you're gonna tell me something crazy? Yeah, but, dude, I've had a pretty crazy, like 16, 18 hours or so. Okay. So, last night I went out. For dinner and drinks with my uncle and cousin. Because my cousin just moved here. And I helped them move in. And then he went home to get his car. And then drove out with his dad. And then he's flying out on Monday. So I was like, well, I better see my uncle before he goes home. Okay. So they came to Riverside. And we went out to Worthington's Tavern. Who has nice outdoor seating. And uh, I had a burger there. It was fantastic. Shout out to Worthington. Um, turns out my uncle is a Trump supporter. Uh-huh. More vocal than historically. Because, <laughs> like, we used to, like, we don't, we didn't really talk politics. <clears throat> Can I like, ask questions during this story? Sure. How long has it been since you've seen him? Or, like, really had a conversation huh. with him? Cause you sound surprised, and I don't sound. I, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not surprised that I was how he would vote for him. Yeah, but just how like loud he is outward. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please continue. Yeah. So, but like, dude, most of the time, but like, my cousin is normal. So, okay. <laughs> so, so, um, but like at the same time, he like pokes and prods. And just, like, brings up liberals and shit just to fucking, like, get his dad going. Because it's funny or because he's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My uncle is actually very funny. Okay. Like... So he's like Nick DiPaolo? Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. But just more, uh, probably more alcohol involved. Okay. Um, but... I don't know. I So we went to, like, three different places. Like, we started at Worthington's, and then we went to MTL, where we just sat, like, on the sidewalk. Like, I was literally on the curb. Yeah. And somebody parked next to us. Like, I could touch their car. It was weird. Like, at first, there was nobody parked there, so it was nice. Like, it was just the street. It yeah. was kind of cool. Drinking a beer. Yeah. Being just a relaxing. Man. Yeah. Yeah, looking at the sky. Like, you know, the sun's on the opposite side of the building, so there's no... It's in the shade. Yeah. It's really... It was really nice. But then somebody parked there. I was like, oh, this is kind of weird now. And they got out, and I'm like, "Oh, we're already within six feet of you." <laughs> like, oh, so yeah. So it was. This was your first time, like, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, Worthington's. We were the only people there, so that was kind of nice. Oh, that's true. Yeah. What? So then, then what happened? Then we went to Applebee's. I feel like something's gonna. <laughs> You know in the horror movie? No, it was, it's just, it was just like a recurring thing all night. And then, you know. Oh, people don't give a fuck. Yeah. 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 How are you feeling about morally about going out? Um, it felt irresponsible. Yeah. But like. Good. I don't feel bad about it, really. Why is that? I don't know. I just don't. Okay. I mean, it it's allowed. Yeah, we were out like in. The, it's not like we were inside. I think we're we weren't sharing drinks. You yeah, know? yeah. I think it's more about 
and I'm no doctor. I don't know if you guys are aware. Are you I sure? Don't, I don't. I I'm pretty sure. Um, I know I'm an incredibly. I've always been really great at school. Math is probably my top subject. Mm. You know, you can give me any number right now and any algorithm. I oh can give yeah. You, I can give you the correct answer. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Name an algorithm that you are able to solve. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Hold on, can we get a piece of paper and a pen? Dude. <laughs> I do some math problems for the podcast. We'll be here for hours. I am not going to do that. You're, no. Okay, what was that? Um, I don't know. Oh, the moral. I think we're at a place where like, it's reasonable as long as there's a level of responsibility. Like as long as you, if people were able to keep their shit together, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where the where it's like, just sit far away. Yeah. Just sit really far away. Just keep the mask on. J- just keep the fucking mask on. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Like you sit down and you get a drink and then it's like, why, I mean, am I going to take my mask off every time I take a sip? That's fair. You know, that's kind of weird. That's fair. It's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's the world's either. crazy. It's like, it's just crazy. Um, but he's a, so he's a vocal Trump supporter. Yeah. So that was interesting. But when they were like taking me home, so like, you know how like you turn off of university and you kind of make that immediate right to yeah. go onto my street. Mm. You, we made that term and it was just like fire trucks. And I was just like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. All right. So at first I was like, I was probably like across the street or like somebody OD'd. You know, because that's what they do. They bring out the fire department when someone's OD is. It's weird. But they're the fastest response. So weird. Um, so they let me out like half a block away because obviously we couldn't pull up to the front. And I walk up and there's like firefighters coming out of our, my building. And like with fire hoses and shit. And I was like, oh, no. This last night. Last night. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And there were there were two people out front, and I was like, "Hey, like, can I can I go in?" And they're like, "Yeah, they've cleared the the floors. Is it was just the first floor?" And I was like, "Okay, whatever." And I just r- went in, and I went up the stairs, and I had to check on my dog. You know, that right. was that was my concern. Fuck. Um, but like everything's fine. Like I didn't. There was no damage on our side of the building. It was on the opposite side of the elevator down the hall. Oh, is that why the elevators? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this morning I went out, um, or sorry, last night I took the dog for a walk and I went out the front of this building and it's like all like black from the smoke up the building and like that bottom apartment where the fire was, like all the windows were busted out and like it was fucking crazy, dude. It must have been a pretty good sized fire. What happened? Why did it? I have no idea. I didn't ask questions. You know what's funny? Just lock myself in here. <laughs> Just hide into your little yeah. ca- man cave. You know what's weird is in the past, we would be talking about that for at least a month. Mm, now now we're going to forget about that in about a day. Oh, uh, I won't. Well, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair for my life because it doesn't affect me at all. But Yeah, naturally. Yeah. <laughs> and um, No, that's crazy though. But like... Also, like, you can, like, walk down by it. Like, when you leave, we can walk down yeah. and, like, go the other way and, like, see. I'm very curious. Yeah. But, like, there's a part of me that's worried that I might not have a place to live. So, you know what I mean? I don't know how, like, what is going to come from. Oh, what happened? What are you going to do? I don't know. What if there's, like, structural damage and they're like, hey, everybody needs to move out for two months or whatever. You know what I mean? So you'd be under the same situation I was under. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I mean, I assume that my apartment complex would handle it better than yours. Probably. Probably a little better. <laughs> so. They literally made us all homeless. Yeah. So um, I don't know. We'll see. You all right? Yeah. Th- I, have, I have more. Um, oh, there's more stuff. Th- there's mo- another thing okay. that happened. I'm listening. Did he, How many times did he say nigger? Uh, none. Oh, okay. Okay, so. <coughs> oh, my God. So this was this morning. Okay. All right. I get up, and I'm I'm like, all right, I should take the dog for a walk. And we go down the stairs, out the door, and walk around the corner. And my dog poops. 
I pick it up. I look down. I see this lady with her two dogs walking like probably a block and a half down. Like she was on university. I was on seventh. Yeah. And she was going like to my right. Okay. <coughs> so I picked up the dog poop. I tied the bag. I took it to the dumpsters that are out back in my apartment here. And then I went back to the sidewalk and I went around to like where she was. Now I assumed that she was going to be like, you know, to the corner. She, I turned this corner. She's like 25 feet away with her two dogs. They start mm-hmm. coming after my dog. My dog gets excited about seeing other dogs and they like start pulling her. And she's like, <laughs> she's like using all of her weight to like pull them back. I was like, oh shit. And like, so I like pulled Bo back. And, like, I kind of, like, took some steps back. I was just going to wait until she got him under control, and then I figured, like, we could just both continue. And then... (laughs) And these dogs just kept pulling on her, and she just did not have the strength or stamina. So she started, like... She, like, got down to her knees, and she was, like, in the mulch, like, in the flowers on, like, the side right next to the building that's there, and was, like, slowly getting dragged through it. Now, luckily, there were, like, other people on the sidewalk right there and they like went and helped her but she was like (laughs) she was like on the ground on her knees and she was like looking at me (laughs) looking at me (laughs) well like and there was this wall that's like maybe like my shoulder height of like it was like brick so i was like i was like holding bow behind it and looking over at her because i was like well i want to try to help if i can you know and then she was like, she was looking at me and she goes, can you please just go back? I can't hold them. Will. Yeah. You know what I realized? What? This is the reason why women <laughs> shouldn't be allowed to vote. What? Cool. If you don't have the that core is strength. That's not the moral of the story. That's, no, that's really crazy, though. I'm just fucking around. That was re- <laughs> that's really fucking crazy. <laughs> and so I was, and so like she said that, and I was like, okay. Like I started walking away. Like, what am I going to do if I go help her? Like, I have the dog. Like, it's just going to make it worse. Right. And so I was like, started to turn around. And I just like over the shoulder, I was like, sorry. <laughs> like, I didn't, what am I supposed to do? But like, luckily, there were like two other people there yeah, that could yeah. like help her up. But like, what happened? Did something happen after that? Um, it seems like no, you, I just walked away. Like oh, that's good. I didn't. I mean, well, what am I gonna do? You know, I just Life. like I felt bad because like there's gonna be a gardener that's gonna have to deal with that now. So <laughs> I just, I just, what? oh, I think I'm. You know, you know when like, you know when your brain's darting. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I yeah 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 been there yeah done that yep yeah, life, love, and the pursuit of happiness. <sighs> what what so else? Funny man. Yeah, but then like okay, so then I went to pick up the equipment from George, right? Oh yeah, yeah okay. So like this happened right before I was like, oh, I'm gonna take the dog for a walk, and I'll bring him up, and I'll go get the shit. So I was coming back with all the stuff, and I turned like where that little like Mexican um, market is right here on the corner, mm-hmm. and I see her out there, no dogs, talking to this guy and like pointing at her knees, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh God, she's telling the story." You're gonna become a legend. <laughs> They're gonna know about you, Will. And go down in infamy, dude. Yeah, there you go. There's dogs. <clears throat> um, how is George? It's it's. Dude, it's hard. He's he's doing projects. What? What? What do you mean? Yeah. What projects? I mean, you have to talk to him about it. Okay. It's It's weird. Okay. Not seeing people. Yeah. Yeah. It is weird. It's like I can't get on. Like if I haven't seen somebody in a while, I can't get on the same page. I don't know what the fuck is happening. You know what I mean? You just start FaceTiming people. Yeah? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, it's just, it's like, who do you see on a daily basis? The people I work for. That's it? Pretty much. <sighs> yeah. 
How do you feel? Bored. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad these exciting things happened to me. Something happened in my life finally. I That's what like when I was walking away from that lady, I couldn't help but laugh. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, yeah. It was funny. I'm sorry. Something happened. Yeah. I think right now things keep happening. I'm already doing things like a lot of things are happening in my personal life. Yeah. So I'm not on that same wavelength of boredom. I hear you. It's weird. Yeah. Um, oh, also I'm going uh, full three musketeers with the buddy system in the future. What does that mean? Meaning like the idea and the concept of the buddy system I think works really well when it's as tight as possible. Uh -huh. So I'm not looking at it as a community thing. I'm, don't worry, everybody. I'm not trying to make a monopoly. Uh, I'm not looking at it as a... Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. 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 I'm not good. Did you see Batman? Did you see the new Batman trailer? I don't care. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it's fine. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so... Good talk. <laughs> Thanks for bringing up that topic. You don't like Batman? You don't like Batman? Yeah. Batman's fine. What's your favorite superhero? No, uh, favorite superhero movie. Not at all. There's so many. I mean, I own the Dark Knights. Two okay, of, two so you, of them. You need like gritty realism. Yeah. Okay, so you know, none of this goofy Marvel. Yeah, I mean, Spider Man was cool. Like, you, you saw Spider Verse, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was okay. cool. That, that one was, really was cool. Good. Yeah. Um, but as far as like live action, not your thing. But, you know, uh, you, you would do adult things like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. Anyway, um, dude, I got Fine. racially you got racially profiled, profiled or something. I don't really know what you'd call it. I'll explain the situation. Yeah. So I go to this little market down the street. We've walked there before to get like blonde. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Sodas, whatever. And um, I walk in there and there's like three or four guys just like standing around. So I like grab myself and I'm just waiting and there was one dude at the register, like, buying his stuff. And he's super annoying. And he has this really weird voice. Like, I thought it was a woman at first. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, what, can I get, like, uh, some cigarettes there? It's like It was, like, a really weird, like, helium -y voice. Yeah. It was very strange. But anyway, um, so he's, like, taking forever and, like, buying shit and grabbing more stuff and putting it on. And... Then he turns around and looks at everybody and he says, like, in Spanish, like, sorry, guys, yeah. like a lo siento kind of like kind of thing. And then he looks at me and he goes, and sorry, bud. And I was, and he's like, and then he kind of looks around at everybody. And he's like, you got to. What did he say? What did he say? Like basically said like you gotta translate for the for the white folks. And I was like, All right. I mean I just took it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You don't but but I was like, dude, like I understood you. Yeah, <laughs> and also the, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And that's not a hard thing to Lo siento isn't exactly Yeah. I mean it was like he said he said it rapidly, but even if I didn't understand it, I who didn't, cares? Yeah, it's not I just, yeah, I guess. Just you're do your thing. Like you're spending more time talking to us. Just do your transaction. Yeah. Keep it simple. You know? Keep it simple. Yeah, it was rude. I agree. I was like, thanks for calling me out. I'm just a patron, the way I see it. I got brown skin like everyone else. Yeah, man, it's hot out. You're getting a tan. Dude. Wow. <sighs> yeah. I, I, I smoked before I came here. I had an interesting week. Good for you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm... Yeah? Yeah. You okay? You, yeah. It's like anxiety provoking. I feel bad. I feel bad. What? For what? For ruining the podcast. <laughs> I feel like I ruined it. You know? Oh. Why? I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, I've no, I've not been this high in a while. That's crazy. Well, you're gonna have to power through it, big guy. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. All right, all right. I What's got happened this. in your life recently? Um, I made a comedy special. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. All right. How do you feel <laughs> about it? Um, 
I think that I, I think it's it in and of itself is good, but I think people might misinterpret that I'm not. This isn't what I'm trying to do for the re- like. This is just a moment in time mm-hmm. that I wanted to express, and uh, I don't know. People seem to be okay with it. People yeah, seem to like it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what are they gonna insult a black man? <laughs> yeah, on. yeah. I think it's you know what was weird was I watched it when the whole premiere happened, and then I was like, I I did I did, felt antsy because I wasn't getting the immediate response. Like when you, it felt it felt different than just posting like a YouTube thing, like a YouTube clip. Like I was trying to promote it. I sound like an alien. Promote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> All right. Um, this whole goddamn episode's a mistake. No, uh, this is exactly how God planned it uh, to go. You don't believe in God. You're going. That doesn't hell. mean he didn't plan it for you. <laughs> what would it take if to, to convince you that God was real? I have no idea. Without dying. I don't know. A, a the, se- the seven horsemen come over. <laughs> seven? I think it's seven. I don't even Four? know. Four? I don't know. You're the fucking guy. You're the fucking religion, dude. Yeah. yeah I don't don't use your phone, you cheater. I got to grab an actual Bible and we got to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sit here while I read through it. <laughs> How annoying are Bible pages, you know? They're sticky. So thin. They're super thin. They're easy to rip and then yeah. you feel bad. Like you you're can going use to- them for rolling papers. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I've tried. I've never succeeded. That's really interesting that you even tried. Why? Because it takes effort. Like, you have to decide to really dislike. You know what I mean? I just wanted to see if it worked. Oh, that's also possible. And it didn't work ever? I did not have success doing it. What if you did it? What if you wrapped it with wraps? Like, you that mixed it. doesn't them. count. Yeah, it does. It's not the same. I want to see the fucking words burning. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. I you know. I know. Um, fuck. Oh, the, the thing. It's just weird. I don't know. I think I'm just in a weird headspace right now. In general. Everybody is. This is pretty much the... <laughs> the uh, narrative of the whole pandemic. The yeah. Last five months. Yeah, I think I'm just like, it's hard for me to get in, it's hard for me to like sit down and chat with people. Okay, it's like, if we were to not do this podcast for months at a time, Mm -hmm. Mm pre-quarantine, and then we, we got back together to do the podcast, it wouldn't feel off. Because we'd still been seeing each other at mics, we'd still been like hanging out. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. And then... But but now it's like my whole world has has now become about me, right? And so it's it's weird. It's just hard to like click. It's I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. And I don't I don't keep up on social media. I don't know what anybody's doing. I know that Beltran had a mic with. It's uh, on the second. I suppose. Oh, okay. Well, then it's going to happen next week uh, with Anthony Davis and KJ Robinson are are Mm -hmm. in it. Uh, But yeah, I don't know. Like, I also don't know (laughs) how just how safe it is to. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah. I um, and like I I'm I can't lose my job. You know. Like I can't risk my job for. Oh, yeah. I get what you mean. Um, but I've been, in, I've been interpreting now they have, they're, they're sending out more jobs. So that's been helpful in a weird way. Mm, um, that's nice. Yeah. I've been doing the video, video relay jobs. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah you yeah. just do that from home? Uh, yeah, yeah. I do it from home. You just do it with one of your wife beaters on? <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> do it in my underwear. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? Tell you, tell someone. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, I, I. I wear normal clothes, but do you have to be like on call? It would be like you use your phone. Yeah. So what happens is a a a breach of privacy. What do you mean? I don't know. I mean everything's a breach of. This is a breach of privacy. That's true. Yeah. Um, But it. 
So basically, at any any time, they can just send me a job. Anytime. Anytime. And a like, video, video relay job? No, no, I mean like an assignment, like a, a I decide if I want to take it or not. Okay. So I just get an email anytime, any random time. And then I, if it's first come, first serve, so every other uh, interpreter is also getting the email, except those people have kids and lives. So they're not always <laughs> looking at their phone ready to go. Yeah. And so I've been snatching the bitches up. Nice. Every time it comes up, I was like, I, I got it. Nice. Um, have you been a rusty through sign language? No. Did you start practicing? I, it's weird. Talking I, to yourself? <laughs> no, I know some people that know sign language that I've been kind of interacting with. We practice. Oh, okay. Um, and what I've come to realize is, this is a little tip if you want to be an interpreter. I don't. No, for but people listening. Oh, okay. Yeah, not you. You, I, uh, I forget that people listen. Oh, do people? Do people I listen? I have no idea. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, shit. Probably not. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. Going in. If you want to be an interpreter. <laughs> if you want to be an interpreter. Uh, <laughs> who the fuck? Who wants to be an interpreter? <laughs> theater kids. That actually makes sense. Yeah, theater kids love being interpreters, it seems like. Uh, yeah, because they aren't talented enough to actually perform, but they still want to be on stage. Yes. So they can no, no so bullshit. They, yeah. 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 Makes sense. I remember being in the program and hearing that. Like, people would be like, you know, it's like, I, don't, I, don't, I can't get on the stage. So I'm like, you know, this is like my oh, stage. They would just say it. That is the most selfish. This is my stage. This, that is the most selfish <sighs> bullshit. I would have people be like, you got to interpret plays because you're an actor. It's like, no, the play's not about me. It's about them. You just fucking interpret it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Fucking weirdos. So there's people who, I'm thinking of a lady right now. <laughs> who, and I, it, if I described her at all, it would be very evident who it was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, so I will not do that. But I'm working on that. But, Good uh, for you. Thank you. I'm working on myself, Will. Nice. I say that every time I, I see you. That's good. Yeah, you do. I do. And you don't change ever. I change. You just come back the same person <laughs> every time. Uh, it's like watching Friends. There's nothing new. It's just the same old cycle. Um, I think yeah. I've changed a little bit. Have you watched Friends? No. It yeah. looks so boring. It's so stupid. I mean, it's like it's a good sitcom. It's if a, you're it's into a, sitcoms. It's a good turn off your brain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like these people are like, I've seen it six times. <sighs> Like get why watch something else. Yeah, that's there's a plethora. Yeah, same with the office. It's like okay, it's okay. Yeah, I think like, I think people are using it as like a comfort blanket right now. It's like the familiar, and it and they've seen it enough times, and it reminds them of what 2007 mm-hmm. was like. Because I, I mean, even before the pandemic, though. Yeah, but people, n- I don't know. They just talk about fr- it's like a popular thing. To like, like have watched Friends over and over know? and over again. To so just keep it on the background while you sleep. Yeah, or like The Office. Yeah, I don't. Like I don't losers. <laughs> I don't get the it. The only TV show I've watched twice is Game of Thrones. You ever watched Breaking Bad twice? No. Why not? I don't know. It's pretty long. That's so good. It I is very good. It a lot. I haven't watched it a lot either. Did you finish Atlanta? No. Hmm. I don't have any streaming services right oh, now. Oh, that's either. right. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah. Fuck, man. You're so fucked right now. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm alive. Uh huh. Paying the bills. Yep. You just seem. I don't know. <coughs> yep. Yep. I think that sums it up. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just, um, just chugging along. Yeah. Can't really do much else. I'm not gonna find the cure, so <laughs> you know. Yeah, and I think November is giving me anxiety a little bit. Yeah, are you gonna vote for Biden? Part of me says I'll just vote independent to put the numbers to it. Uh huh. Because we're in California, uh-huh. like that. And then the other part of me is like, <laughs> how crazy would it be? If Trump won California. God fucking damn it. Don't <laughs> because, put that in my fucking because head. Because so many people vote independent. Is, are you trying to fuck with my head? Are you trying to make No, me? I'm just throwing out scenarios. God damn what, it. How crazy would that be? Like, I wonder how many years in a row California has been a blue state. Let's find out. From hey, Google. 
How many years in a row has California become a blue state? I don't know. I mean, I guess how many I like. Okay, great. Awesome. I gave <laughs> Thank you for that. I gave I'm not as good as Jamie. Jesus so. Christ. <laughs> he didn't even try. I didn't even try. <laughs> like, I read the first article title and I was like, this is exhausting. All right. After decades of Republican victories, here's how California became blue. I don't. After decades. Okay, so go to it. What does it say they started? Yeah. Um, After decades of Republican victories. Let's see. Well, also. They changed ideal idea ideologies at some point. Huh. It's going through a process right now. Oh, okay. So in the sixties, all right, so in like nineteen fifty six it was pretty red. Oh what it looked like. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Is that Los Angeles is red? Yeah, it's pretty wow. red. Wow. Well, that was like Hollywood. Then so that makes sense. Yeah. And the mob. Then JFK came around and it started getting a little more blue. Then by 1964, Whoa. completely blue. Holy hell. Yeah. I think it might be swinging back to red right now. Oh, shit. The 1968, it became... Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh. The 70s was very red. Inter- then that, is that this, So that's like right around the counterculture movement too, yeah. right? Or yeah. no, that was like the 60s, huh? I think California might become red. Dude, that would be crazy. I'm getting the fuck out. I mean, I live in red already, but still. <laughs> um, 1976, it looks mixed. Reagan era was red Whoa. as fuck. Who did Reagan go up against? Uh, no, wait, this is... Yeah, uh, Jimmy Carter. Oh. Um, apparently people didn't like Jimmy Carter. Yeah, Reagan won again in the 80s. Apparently this place was red as fuck. Interesting. Uh, it's all of cocaine. Bush is like, pretty red. I'm going to start a business. I want Republicans. You know what's funny? What? I haven't fact checked this source. I don't know if this is real. I mean, that's but that's what I like. What what is the site? It's called the, from the Los Angeles Times. Oh, that's that's. I mean, that's based on Did election you, facts. Like, I, I mean, know it's hard to. I but okay. <laughs> it's hard to fake that shit. I know, but especially did, if you're the L.A. Times. Yeah, but did you see what happened with uh, some of the the Democratic DNC whatever bull, campaign bullshit? No. Oh yeah, you don't get. Please fucked. explain it to me. Okay, so I do. Like I know I should, but yeah. I I just can't. I understand. Uh, Kamala Harris and does some does some sort of quick snippet endorsing Bernie in some way, praising Bernie, right? Okay. And then what fucking outlet? There was one particular outlet. Kamala Harris scandal DNC. I don't know. <laughs> um, scandal is. I don't. I don't know. One of the one of the fucking one of the goddamn news outlets jumped on it and immediately spun it as like like Kamala Harris turns on Bernie Sanders. Drama ensues or whatever. Like they're turning it into fucking WWE immediately. Uh, dude, how dope would it be? An election? <laughs> There's no election. They're it's just, just a fight. Yeah, I yeah. would f- fuck it. We we're, we vote for who represents us. Yeah. and they fight it out. I don't mind that. that I would, would pick cool. Who would you pick to fight your for your for? All right, UFC match to, to pick the election. Republicans get to pick a fighter. Democrats oh, get to pick oh, a fighter. Oh shit! Who are we picking, man? Who's our guy? Oh my goodness gracious! Who's our guy? <sighs> you can pick anybody. What if they're retired? They have to be like. Active? Let's go. Every anyone in their prime. I see. I don't know. Oh man, maybe like Anderson Silva or Roy Jones. I don't know. I don't know why I brought this up in this way because I have fucking no idea. About yeah, I don't really know UFC that well yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. know what Joe Rogan says about it. Yeah. So, well, anyway, um, I can give you four names. All right, I'm listening. So Connor. Yeah. Um, Khabib. 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 That's the guy. Roy Jones. Yeah. Well, what was the other one? I said? Roy Jones would get fucked up in mixed martial arts. I think. He's, cause Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, he's like a boxer. I'm thinking of um, what was um Bone Bones. Bone, we're sounding real stupid, right? Yeah, now. we are. Yeah, we but don't. By the okay. way, we don't know anything about UFC. We're just yeah, no fucking. No one's listening. What am I? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. No one's fucking listening. Um, and then the other guy I just said, I don't know. I don't know. I just said his name. Yeah. What, why do we oh, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. He's a guy. He had the mohawk, right? No. Okay. He was a black dude from Brazil, I think. Huh. 
You know, like six foot three and just fucking weird. Long ass legs. Just fucking wow. Ow. It's crazy. Yeah. How are we going? Anyway. What were we talking about? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> so he's gone off the rails. Yeah. Um, no, but. Are you still doing street stand up after the release of your yeah. special? Yeah. You promoting it? Yeah. Oh, good for you. I felt like you wanted to do that, like, um, what's his name, didn't it? Oh, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. How uh, are you? How are you just putting the? Are you just? How are you getting people to watch it? Um, on the street. Just posting. I just. I'm gonna talk about it. You should just put it on the speaker and just sit next to it. I'm not gonna do that because I say nigger a lot. So, you don't say it when you're just out there. I like get an edited version, just beeped out version, and then sell your mixtape. Right, that's what I'm doing. This is audio versions of it. <laughs> so people want to buy the audio version mixtape for, for like dude. the novelty of it. I'm just saying. Should I put it on cassette tapes? No, you should do CDs. Okay. Or a flash drive. I've still seen people do that shit out in Vegas. CDs. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell well, yeah. they were hustlers, man. That's what we call them. Hustlers. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, it's, I think it's just weird. I think it's weird because people are paying, people have been paying attention and that's weird. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's super weird. It's like, I don't feel famous. I don't feel like I'm famous, but I feel like there's like a little chunk of following. A hub. Yeah. And it's just, it makes me feel weird Hmm. because. Well, you better get used to it. I guess. We do it for like, but for years we've been doing it with no sort of acknowledgement or recognition. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh, he's doing a thing. I want to watch that. And it's mm-hmm. like, well, why do you want to watch me? What's wrong with you? Yeah. What did you, <laughs> what happened to you that you felt the need to listen to me? Yeah. Um, kind of like when you get in a relationship, you're like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. That's how, well, that's uh, talking to somebody. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, that's fun. Yeah. We'll leave it. That's all. That's that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. No. That's it. I just don't know. That's all right. I don't know how much to say. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No. You don't do ASMR. Not really. You don't like us ASMR. Not at all. Why not? Not enjoyable. What is? What's your thing? Like I don't know what you mean by that. Like no, like, <laughs> like the equivalent to ASMR. What is the like a thing a on podcast? You? I don't know what I don't know what people do when they listen to ASMR. Touch themselves probably. Probably yeah. Or just go to tickle sleep. their butthole. <laughs> with like a feather. Play with it and just go around it. Oh, you use the middle finger. I mean, it's the longest one. It's the easiest. Oh, one I see. You have a there. lot of control over. Yeah. Woo! Oh, Henderson. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, no, you. Uh, that's what I assume that they would do. That makes sense. Huh. Do you like. Uh, what do you do when you listen to ASMR? Go to sleep. You listen to people breathing or something? No. They're, they're <laughs> <laughs> fucking creepy. I, just, I need to fall asleep. So, I, I need someone breathing next to me. Do not. Do not. Do not. You don't want ASMR in your algorithm? You know what? Tell me what to put in. I'll bring it up my computer so we can listen to it on the headphones. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Type in ASMR sleep. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Yeah. You're going to like it, man. I don't know, man. I just... You got to turn it on high. people doing sounds? Look, just make sure it's a hot girl. What? I'm trying to go to sleep. You'll see. Man. Let's see. I don't want... (laughs) I assume they're all hot girls. No, no, no. Sometimes they're just dudes. It's like, fat dudes. It's, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's just you want to hear me snore? <laughs> they have all these like techniques and shit. What? Yeah. Have you, you never? See, I don't like I've this. Been, I already don't like it. I've been living in my own. I need to be around people again, I think. I feel like, like there's a little bit of like the sanity being lost. Mm. What is this face you're making? Are you really not excited? I'm not excited at all. Me, what, what do you want me to type in again? Sorry. ASMR sleep. My shit is slow. All right. Yeah. Let's, you can do the first one or whatever. Which, whichever one. The first one? Appealing to you. Ah. Okay. Right, what's happening? 
Is it working? I mean, I haven't got there yet, dude. Okay. Nice. this working Through my computer, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why it's not working? Why don't I just put it on the TV? I mean, we're not gonna be able to hear it that well. You're not gonna be able to hear it? No, with the headphone. Why don't you think you'd be able to hear it? Oh my god, I don't want to do this. I miss how upset you would get. Well, What's making the noise? Her fingers. She she got like uh, those weird nails. I don't like her though. She's she's creeping me out a little bit. Dude, don't. What? Why? Just pick one so we can fucking watch it and. A uh, hundred kisses. Oh now, my god! No, we gotta. We gotta. <laughs> You're not into it, Will? I just hate that this is how she makes her living. You don't know. She probably does OnlyFans or something else. Yeah, for ASMR. Yeah, actually, yeah. Why does it bother you that she's, she's, she's doing her hustle? Because it's, it's just so stupid. You know, it's supply and demand, people. I guess, dude. If there's a demand for people to whisper in your ears while you sleep, and and you know rub, You're a fucking psychopath. Rub sponges together or whatever. Genuine problems. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If that relaxes you, you have problems. I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right. It's an issue. What was the issue? It's just <laughs> it's just disturbing. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's ASMR, you know. I mean, I know. But hmm. I don't get it. That's all good. I haven't I haven't really listened to it recently. I like the I like to play like the sound of rain. Mm. If that makes sense, because that's white noise. What is considered white noise? It's like but is it, I don't it, know the exact definition. It has to, it has to be like it's like a constant, but it's like droning almost. Yeah, like a drone. Either. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's like a fan. Well, that makes sense. So you're going to donate for my RV? A white noise machine. Probably not. Come on, man. Help me pursue my dream. I mean, I still owe you money, so you can take that money and put it toward it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's from Idaho? Yeah. So when, so when, when I get the RV, do you want to do a trip like that? Maybe. That's a big maybe now. Oh, because of how much time has gone by? Well, I mean, I'd get my chops up first right. before we do anything, but... I'm more concerned about expenses and the life of my animal. Well, that's, fair. that's fair. I mean, but an RV is a little different than than uh, a van. Like yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't have to pay yeah, as we much have to just pay, gas. Yeah. So. Just gas. And then we have, um, you know, we have beds and sinks and internet. You have internet, huh? Guns. Yeah, I plan on having internet. 
Nice. Yeah, I'm a fan. Wow. Yeah. You're figuring things out. Huh? What do you? What's your plan? Are you gonna get a Verizon MiFi? A what? <laughs> they used to sell these like. They'd be like li- like mobile hotspots that you could just take, and it would work off the Verizon signal. Oh. It would provide like. Yeah, basically, internet. I'm gonna do that. I got my little mini. I got my little mini uh, washer and dryer. Yep. I got my. I'm gonna get uh, security cameras. Like you know those those. Like a ring. What was you it? You need to get a ring <laughs> on your fucking oh, the RV. One, uh, no, <laughs> With no. The cameras. <laughs> no, probably like. Uh, it would be awesome if you did. Though. It would be really dope. Yeah, That'd be, I could pimp this shit out, man. I could get a, a could. disco ball. Yeah, you, comes out. No, but it comes out from the top of the roof, so it goes back like a Tony Stark type of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that's then, that's the first thing that you think of, when right? You, Probably gonna get rocket packs for the back. I'm sorry, in what? case I need to, or or, or uh, oil slick, in case I need to make a quick getaway. Was a speed racer? Already? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, I'll have wings that I can attach to it if I want to kind of oh, glide yeah, around. Oh, yeah, just like, jump off a cliff. And yeah. You're like, I'm late for this fucking show. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's going to be like the magic school bus. Oh, man, I'm going to go see a voodoo witch doctor who's going to put a oh. spell on it. <laughs> and then it's going to... Are you being serious or is this part of the bit still? This is still the bit. Okay. I didn't completely lose my I thought you mind. were serious. That's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm fucking talking about. I don't know how anyone's doing mentally or I'm like, I don't know who people are anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, at this so you're gonna go to a witch doctor? Yeah, I'm gonna go to a witch doctor. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a witch doctor, and then I'm gonna make the RV come to life, and it's gonna have a yeah. face and everything. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be able to shrink. I can go into people's bodies or whatever. And then you remember that episode, Magic School Bus? Into people's bodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, fa- my the one that comes to my mind always was when they go to Pluto, and uh, the yeah, kid yeah. takes his helmet off and freezes. I don't remember. I remember that video game. Oh, okay, but um. You remember those computer CD ROM videos? You didn't games? watch the show in the morning? No. Before you went to school? No. Oh. No. My my mornings were filled with screaming. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what were you gonna say? Um Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh just be, 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 I don't like me saying, yeah, I'm gonna do voodoo magic. Yeah. Honestly, I could see people like I'm sure someone snapped. I'm sure someone's really get going in deep on something kind of strange. Mm. Like, because everyone's left to their own devices. Everyone's yeah. just... It's, it's really strange. It's just weird. Yeah, there'll probably be a lot more preppers after this whole yeah. ordeal. Oh, yeah. And Generation Z, I think, like, performing on the street and talking to people as they go by is, is a weird glimpse. Into Which how one is Generation Z? The younger the people under us. So, Jonathan, Generation mm. Z. Oh, okay. I think if the if the world has any hope, it's all up to them, basically. Oh, well. Because, like, old people, every time I'm out there and there's, like, a lot of old people, there's this sense of they're not. There's You know, you get to a certain yeah. age, you're just not going to change. Yeah. And then our generation is completely in debt. And so there's this despair on millennial people around my age. We, there's this, like, jadedness. Yeah. But Generation Z... You can still see a little bit of, a little bit of spark in them, you know. Man, you know They'll get there. They'll get there. They will. We all do. Yeah, but they they have like in time. They have like plans, and they all want to be environmental people and shit. Like they're, I think they're gonna hopefully turn the tide. <laughs> the fucking dorks. Dude. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Anything. I'm so tired. Uh. Yeah, but I want people to make video games and shit still. Yeah, yeah. they're still gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of computer engineers. Still. Yeah. Um, as long as there's that, man, and everyone's it's once we get virtual reality and we're all just living in virtual reality. You don't think mining Bitcoin, literally <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin falls out. <laughs> just got to find a Bitcoin vein. So like in, in the virtual reality world in virtual reality world, your your job is to mine for Bitcoin. Then what can you do with the Bitcoin? Can you buy? Oh no, you can give it to the corporation, and then they give you. Oh, they give food. you food. That's it, just food. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, it's like uh, rations. Yeah. All right, and then clothing. Are we all like a uniformed thing, yeah, or is it yeah, just yeah? Okay, it's like you step up, you take like three hits, some falls out, and then you go give it to them, and mm. then you repeat over and over again. Okay. And do you have a family? Or is that also allocated to you by the government? Everybody's genderless. 
Nobody has oh, genitals. No okay, so no one's... Are we nameless as well? Or are we yeah, numbers? We we're numbers. numbers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so all of us are shaved like you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. Like brown color skin though. Okay, so Darker. everyone's mixed. So racism's yeah. gone because yeah. yeah, it's cla it's like classism. Yeah, raw classism. Pre like uh the rich arist aristocracy. Interesting. Right. Are there gonna be any revolutionaries or is it gonna are we done? Oh no, it's over. Really? Oh, it's just how it's going to be for millennium. <laughs> the man's going to take over. Probably going to be Amazon, realistically. Jeff Bezos' Jeff head Bezos. in a jar? Yeah, he's going to be like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. I picture his head in a jar, and then spider legs come out from the bottom, and then he fucking <laughs> skitters. <laughs> he skitters about. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, you should do that, Jeff Bezos. What? Jeff Bezos should do that. Oh, yeah. 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 He's gonna, I'm sure he's got a plan. Nah, he'll probably just die. Apparently, people are, think that Bill Gates is evil or something. Yeah, yeah, they're stupid. What's wrong? What did he do? He, didn't he try to like help people or something? So here's what happens, okay? When, so Bill Gates had a bunch of money, and he took that money, and he decided that he was going to help third world countries fight polio. Right? So okay. we eradicated polio like in the 60s or whatever. Now, when I lost my train of thought. Uh, polio, he's, he's trying to... Oh, right. So he's like in these third world countries and he's like producing, he's like providing the resources to produce all of these vaccines, these polio vaccines. Resources meaning money? Mostly, yeah. Money okay. to go to labs and... You know, production, transport, and then, like, giving it out as well, you know. Before you keep going. So, so far, here's my train of thought with this. Okay. That seems reasonable. Okay. Okay. All right. So, no matter where you are in the world, no matter how, where you are, or where you're from, it, across all races, classes, there's a rate of paralysis from the polio vaccine. Always has been. I can't remember the exact number, but it's something like 0. .025 or something like or 0. .0025, something like that. Of paralysis. Paralysis. Okay. Because um, I think polio like affects like the spine, I want to say. I'm not full. I don't really know. But polio affects like your nerve system somehow, I think. So the vaccine is basically like giving, giving you, you polio. Bit. And right. if your body doesn't react to it the proper way. And how many people experience this? Uh, it's like a it's like point oh two five. I can't remember the exact number. OK, but it is like a recorded. This is a side effect. This is a of possibility. This, yes. Yes. OK. So I would say to that, that makes sense. OK, that's not good. Right. But it's better than everybody getting polio. I would agree. Yeah. OK, so. In India, there was, uh, this is like the example that I remember because somebody posted a picture of it. Um, and it was like Bill Gates like provided vaccines to kids in India and this many were paralyzed. And it was like a pretty big number. And I was like, and I thought to myself, I was like, okay, like, Let's let's do this mathematics because I had I had looked up the rate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you say that again? What that what you just said, like a sentence, a couple sentences ago. Um, that rate of the fuck paralysis. Um. Yeah. So the okay. So. It makes people, there's a little percentage, and I understand why people would be concerned about that, but overall, nobody needs to get polio. Yeah. Then what happens? There, so in India, there's a certain number of kids that got paralyzed right, okay. from this vaccine. Yes. And I was like, okay, I'm going to 
do some research on this. So I was like, how many kids are in India? Found that number. Mm. I was like, what's the rate of paralysis from a polio vaccine? Found that number. And you can work out the math. I'm like, oh, this is just the normal amount of people that would get. Right. Like this is exa- and it was exactly right. that percentage of that they predicted. But, exactly. But the problem is no, but people aren't going to do what you did. Yeah, I know. But and it was like a pretty sizable number like th- th- I don't I don't want to underdo it, but it was like 30 something thousand, I say, I want to say. Right. And it was like, oh, but there's like 3 million kids in India. You know what I mean? Like there's when you, you people don't realize how many people live in India. It's three times what we have. Right. They have a billion people. But then see. And now. I, OK. OK. Yeah. So what it is, is. There's too much. They also think he's going to produce the vaccine for the coronavirus and then microchip everybody why so that they can get our location and all of our purchases and then they're gonna start we're already doing doing that money contactless and then they can just shut down your you can't get money from them anymore which they could already do if they wanted to with your debit card yeah (laughs) so it's yeah i'm but nobody's gonna put a microchip in you dude i promise just get the vaccine. It's like, it's funny because I agree with everything that you're saying. I think what's happening, I think what's happening in my head is like out on the street, I'm just hearing all of these different people and, and like how they're looking at everything. And people are mad because they're poor and he's not. What's up? People are mad because Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos oh, are yeah, rich yeah. as fuck and they're poor. Yeah, I agree. And sorry, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> sorry about it. Yeah. Like, I'm not living the high life. You don't see me fucking I think complaining about Bill Gates' wealth. You know what it is? I think it's people that don't have, like, purpose. They don't have a thing to do. They don't have that thing that they're like, oh, if I succeed at this, I could get to a fraction of Bill Gates, yeah, <laughs> a sizable fraction. Well, not, I don't like. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I don't give a shit about. I don't I don't think anyone needs that much money. No, but how cool would it be to have it? It'd be interesting. It'd be yeah. fucking dope, dude. You could do anything, anything, name it. You could go to space. Bill Gates tomorrow could be like, wake up, like have a cup of coffee, sipping out on his patio that's like air conditioned. Of for some reason, it's outside though, but it's air conditioned. Uh huh. And, and he's just sipping his coffee, and then he looks up, he sees the moon, and he goes, "I want to go to the moon today." And then he pulls out his fucking cell phone that's probably see through or something. <laughs> or no, he probably has a chip, so he like double taps his temple. Yeah. And he goes, "Um, assistant, I would like to visit the moon today, so contact Elon Musk." And then he just goes to the moon. All of this I'm picturing uh, as as the Jetson style. I want to see a rickety wee, 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 robot <laughs> come over <laughs> like a, a a maid robot. <laughs> That's how I want it to be. Dude, I Jetson's was uh funny. I think they, what was the year it was supposed to be like 2000? Is it real? I think so. You should look it up. It's oh. like it's like yeah, it was like way early. I got my phone. I'll do it. Okay, where is my phone? I don't know. You probably lost it in the seat. I found it. Hey Google. What year was the Jetson supposed to take place? 2062. Oh, I'm so wrong. Oh, hey, still possible. 2062? Yeah. The futuristic series was set in 2062. That's interesting. I thought it was like earlier. 2062. Hey man, we could get there. That's not impossible. Like we living in extremely yeah, high those skyscrapers. high skyscrapers and the you know how way expensive that would be but up I mean, in the clouds. But I mean, what if what why are they up there anyway? Do they ever explain it? Because they destroyed the earth. <laughs> this is their wallet. Okay, so how do, how what's structured underneath that they're able to build on? Fuck, I don't. It's the future. I don't fucking know. They're just floating. No, I don't know, dude. dude you gotta te- figure this out, man. Future technology. You gotta figure this out. Future technology is basically magic. Well, why did they have those supports then? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Hear me out. Listen. <laughs> Just listen to what I have to say about it. Okay. Okay, dude. Any future technology is basically magic to anyone in the past. 
So like your okay. cell your cell phone to somebody in fucking eighteen ninety three is like yeah. holy shit that's magic yeah get that away from me yeah what yeah. witchcraft are you providing me yeah so whatever happens in the future it doesn't matter Imagine it's just taking magic. a selfie of a person from eighteen ninety three uh, isn't there some sort of like weird internet thing about that what? they have those weird like pictures of people proof of time travel where it's like oh, oh that guy's wearing eighties clothes and like those are photoshopped probably. It's like Bigfoot. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe. 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 I don't know. Maybe people have come from the future. Maybe that's why the butterfly effect happened and we're here. I don't maybe know. that's why it's Baron Stain bears now. Yeah. Maybe this was the mo twenty twenty. <laughs> they were like, we gotta try it out. And here's what this is what happened. And they fucked up. They, they just really changed Baron Stain bears. Do you ever think about the whole, uh, is it string theory, you multiple universe? I mean, are those ex- mutually exclusive? I, I don't know. Multi- Rick and Morty theory, I'll just call it. <laughs> string theory or multiverse? Multiverse. What about it? W- that one, what's the difference between string theory and multiverse? I mean, a string theory is just like a theory of how the universe is constructed and kind of exp- like tries to factor in dark energy. And dark matter. It's the closest thing we have to like a working like understanding, a universal understanding of the universe in mathematical terms. This was a topic that I made a mistake on. We shouldn't be talking about this one. I'm, yeah. I'm in my, my particular headspace. Continue though. <laughs> I don't like how your eyes squinted. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You're fucking devious. You look so <laughs> evil. You look like, you know those Scooby-Doo paintings where you walk by and the eyes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you think you would notice that if you were one of them? Yes. Not Walking notice the eyes, but you shaggy. can. You know when you can feel someone staring at you? Yeah. Th- I think it would feel like that. Yeah. 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 Plus yeah. the cliche already exists. So when I walk through the castle, I'm You like, always look? Yeah, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be looking yeah. at the giant knight because that mm. thing is... <laughs> Right, yeah, like that whole yeah. thing. Um, is so it t- magical or is there somebody in it? Um, if it's like Scooby Doo style, it has to be magical because it would be ridiculous for somebody to be standing that still. You would think, yeah. Oh, have you been inside of Night Armor? No. What? <laughs> you just said you think. You, the way you said it. The way you said it implied. Oh, that, oh like, no! Could you imagine though? I fucking wish that'd be dope. <laughs> Walk around and then chain link. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can see full plate armor. I can see you really enjoying those um, medieval times. Yeah, that would probably be cool. Have you ever been to medieval? No. Well. What? Well, we should go to medieval times right. if the world wasn't being destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah lots of things I want to do. You would love. Really? Oh, fuck. It's just... Eat a turkey leg. Yeah, uh-huh. They got <laughs> food. They got big old turkey legs. Yeah. They got fucking nymphs. I want some mead. Yeah, you get mead. There's re- for real mead. Yeah. I was, I was, I was drunk. Uh, yeah. They got um, lancing. The fuck? The, the horses? Yeah. They got fencing. They got uh, guys walking around playing bagpipes and shit. And so you just like eat and... You can dress up. You walk around. Wait, they give you a costume? No, you dress up. Oh. Uh, no, people go hard. That's great. But I, I wish they would give you a costume. No, you, no, you got to dress up yourself. Fine. But that's fucking boring. No, you would love have, it. I don't have one, though. You would love it. Yeah, I know. I like, like a renaissance fair, you know? Yeah, you could play Dungeons and Dragons at the like picnic area. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No, you've never seen anybody doing that. No, but you could. Yeah, you and people could. would be like, that's awesome. And they would all hang around you and watch you play. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Fucking weirdos. You would like it. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, I'm kind of cool. I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Dungeons and Dragons guy. Um, this, no, no. Sometimes it, all of this shit just feels super weird. It just feels weird. Yeah. 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 It's been weird. Yeah. Oh, you know what else I th- it is? What? Is I'm not used to positive reinforcement. Okay. I'm getting more positive reinforcement from people, and I'm not oh. used to it. Oh. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's same. good to be around you, because I always feel same, terrible same when you're here. around. I was yeah. re- I always lose a lot of self-esteem. Good. Anytime you're you back in your place. Uh-huh. Th- uh-huh. No, keep going down that hole. <laughs> That's it. You're gonna, what, how are you going to... What is my name? What? 
What's my name? I think this has been the end of this. <laughs> how long? How long have we been gone? Uh, I don't know what time. An hour or five. Okay, I'm fine to keep talking. Um. Uh, what were we talking about? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Dude, why do your knuckles look like you've been in a fight? No reason. <laughs> uh, I've been. I do knuckle push-ups. <laughs> that sounds like it hurts, dude. Yes. Why do you do that to yourself? Because cause we're not doing anything else. <laughs> Why not do knuckle push-ups? I have the time to do knuckle push-ups now. It's awesome. I've been having a blast. I don't have to, I don't have to go to work. You're becoming Rambo. <laughs> got my guns, got my knuckle push-ups, yeah, got my dude. wolf beast. You just need like one of those like cross belts to, get, oh, to put bullets and shells in. Yeah. That would be dope, dude. It's been awesome. Bandolier. That's what you need. I want to get uh, those. Was the uh, from? Not the te- not the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The one Davy Ro- the Davy Crockett hat. The little uh, raccoon Rec- skin. <laughs> we get a raccoon Why? skin because uh, Rambo. He doesn't wear that. He totally wears a raccoon no, skin hat. No, he does hat. not. Yeah, I've decided he wears a raccoon skin hat. And and if he doesn't, someone needs to Photoshop a raccoon skin hat. On every single frame of Rambo. And then please send it to me. <sighs> on every frame of every Rambo? Sing- he has to... They have to so annoying. And they have to make sure that it looks real. Like, it's got to be deep faked in there. Where it's like, You're oh, he's so just annoying. wearing a coonskin hat. I thought you just meant like a... Like a... Like a, a still. Oh, no, no. I want the whole movie with him convincingly having the hat. You don't think that'd be fun? You wouldn't watch Rambo? That would be hilarious, Coonskin but Rambo? nobody's going to do it. <laughs> Coonskin Rambo yeah. coming to your theaters, but you won't be there. None of us will. That's going to be the tagline. And all these black people are going to get and be like, where are the black people? I, um, I'm going to say words. Uh, no, I'm, yeah, no, I'm not used to positive reinforcement. It's uncomfortable. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, super weird. What's weird is like I give it like oh, 300 times a day. Oh, yeah. But, but yours is fake. You don't actually like yeah. those kids. <laughs> That's not kids. entirely true. Oh, you like them? No, the other part. I mean, I care about like the... Their well-being. Them learning things and them doing what they're supposed to do. Because it makes my job easier. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But that's not about them as much as it is about your own lazy. Yeah. yeah. I never said it wasn't. Okay. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little lazy. A little lazy butt. Okay. Well, a little lazy butt. You want me to get you, go get you some corn from the corn okay. man? A little okay. lazy butt? We'll no, I don't like that. You don't like the corn man? Elote. No. Wait, wait, say it again. Elote. Ooh. You like that? Yeah. 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 Elote. Yeah. Elote. You got to do Elote. it. Elote. Elote. Hola, señorita. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Tu ojos es muy bonita. Bien, bien. Sí, muchas gracias. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? <laughs> mm, tu pelo, muy bien. Yo tengo su nombre. Sí, mi nombre es. Nueve, cinco, uno, yo no sé. <laughs> yo no sé su nombre? No, porque... Tú, 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 sé, tú, I don't fuck up. Porque, right. porque uh, muchas personas escuchar mi conversación. Uh, yo no, yo no quiero... Uh, yo no quiero hablar uh, oh, God damn it Yo no quiero hablar mi teléfono Because people are listening I, don't know. Yeah, I, got I was it. trying to I like got, I got it It sucks It's not good Yeah but I got it As yeah. someone that also speaks terrible Spanish Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
This is embarrassing. Can we not That's put this fine. one out? Oh, Jesus no. We're Christ. absolutely going to put it out. This is the worst. I don't want to do another one. So. Yeah, it's, yeah. This is the, this is probably the most slapdash, fucked up, stupid episode. We're, this is going to be the episode we regret in the future. I think it'll be okay. You were saying your numbers, like a Spanish maid. <laughs> Wait, what? Cinco, <laughs> uno. It's like I'm teaching children. on. <laughs> Siete. I'm working on that Spanish, man. I'm not playing around with that shit. Good. Yeah. That's cool. At least it gives you something to do. Besides it your knuckle push up, <laughs> you just punch someone, and when you're uno, dos, tres, while you're punching them. I told, I told you. you know, I'm going to give them the old uno dos. You know what I'm talking about? I told you about um, uh, bully juice, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, I've shown you, right? Bully juice? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, I don't need to play it right now. But yeah, that's just what I've been doing. That's good. Yeah, I have a, I have a regimen. I nice. wake up and I do 15-minute stretches, which I need to improve on. That. I need to get to 30. Or not 30, 20. Uh, and then I do, I think it's like every other day, I'll do like the 30-minute work, full body workout. And then I live my life. Nice. Yeah. You know what's fun is not, not working all the goddamn time leads you, gives you time to like be happy. Yeah. 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 So how's work, hen? <laughs> huh? How's work, buddy? No, it's just nice. It's just nice to not work. I'm yeah, trying to... I know. Well, I mean, I'm still work. I still work. I'm still doing interpreting jobs if and shit. You, if you want. Yeah. I do. I still work. I think I like, now I have more time. Like, I'm not working fucking... Yeah. Six to it's, whatever. Yeah. 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 And then on top of other extra jobs after that, like, I'm... I'm I I feel like I lived like a savage before quarantine. Before? Before quarantine, yeah. <laughs> I lived like a savage. Why? What's the difference? The difference is that, and by a savage, <laughs> I mean like I, I'm, I'm like appalled at how I was living. You're living the same way. No, no. I mean in, in terms of work, like how much work oh. I was doing. Okay. I just don't. I don't work as much. Now. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's like it's nice. It's very nice. I just didn't because re- I've never not worked. I told you that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just it's weird. It's weird. Never. It's weird. Like going from a place of always working to now don't have to do anything. I don't. Yeah. It's nice. I can actually relax. Yeah. So it's just strange. Yeah. Is that weird for you, or you've always been I, able to relax? I, you get it. I haven't been. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had time off. You know, when are you gonna get time off? When are you gonna get probably like never vacation or something? I'm going home in December. Going home for how long? For a week. Only if I don't have to quarantine when I come back, because I'm not about to miss out on two weeks of pay. But are you gonna are you gonna miss your family? No. I'm going back there for them. So what if, like, what if the Civil War is going on? Are you going to go back? I mean, it depends on how it's playing out. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Like, who's winning? No, 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 no. Just, like, how it happens. Because hmm. I don't... I don't know how. You might have to like hide in your room. I just don't understand how we'll be able to like separate who's who, who's on what side. Like people what just gonna be killing people in the streets. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the, it's <laughs> like, like, the fuck, man. <laughs> just bodies. You know, do I have to wear a blue like blue? Like what color should I wear? Don't wear blue. Why not blue? Because blue lives matter. Oh, see, but I was thinking Democrat, Republican. Oh, so, shit. Oh, fuck. This is going to get what complicated. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You Black like, Lives Matter. Just wear a Black Lives black? Matter shirt. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Or okay, I need to get one. <laughs> Can I make my own? Oh, you know what we'll, we'll do? Just tape BLM on it. We'll put you in blackface. No, 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 no. This no. way nobody they'll, will know. They'll find out. They'll find no, out. No, no, we'll do it really good. No, 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 we'll no. We'll do some no, really no, good no, blackface no, no, for you. Because they'll kick me out. And then I'll have to be on the opposite side. Yeah? Would you join the opposite side or would no. you just go rogue? I'd go rogue, dude. Nice, bro. 
Go espionage their shit. <laughs> Plant bombs on their oil that's, containers. That's what's going to be the, the tribute part, I think, about the race war, is we're not going to know. Like, it's going to be hard to figure out. Well, no, actually, it won't be too hard. You can kind of tell. Yeah. Unless someone tries to get sneaky. That's when Infiltrate. it's going to get. I think they're too dumb. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have my guns with they're me. They're too vocal. Much. Yeah. They'd be like, I was trying to hold it in. <laughs> it's not real music. <laughs> um. <laughs> Logic, I don't give a fuck how light he is. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, He's retired now. That racist guy? Logic. Oh. Yeah. No, the racism has not retired. It has is in full swing. Yeah, man. I um I still think Trump's gonna win. Um Yeah. I don't think people are gonna vote for Biden. Not enough people. Oh, you think because of that whole independent thing? Um the only reason I'm doing that is because I live in California. I'm thinking more of like the swing states though. Right. Where like they're gonna vote one of the two parties. Right. They're not gonna vote, right? Because they know yeah. that their vote actually matters. Mm. I just don't think that they see third party as an option. Right. That's Midwest, like Ohio, Michigan kinda could go either way at this point. What's weird to me is I understand why you wouldn't want to vote for Biden. Iowa. Another one that is a swing state. I understand why you wouldn't want to vote for Biden. I don't want to vote for him either. Yeah. But objective, like we don't know what Biden would do necessarily. Kamala Harris is there now. We don't know. We don't know what they would do. It's Kamala. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Kamala. It's like she's a fucking whatever snack, like a, a candy bar ingredient. Kamala. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. I don't give a fuck. I, like <laughs> I don't give a fuck about her. I, yeah, I don't care. But like we. Obje- we know what he does. We don't know what they do. Maybe Biden? let's try. No, uh, Trump. Oh, we oh. know what he does. We know everything he does. We are here now. It's at this point. It's like yeah, but Biden is also like super racist. You know that, right? Like, I you've know seen the videos. Yes, I know. <laughs> but he's it's also kind of entertaining. To be honest with you, it's not for me. <laughs> it's really frustrating. It's like it's, it's like he's trying so hard to not be racist. Yeah, but he just. Yeah, he, it slips out. It just fucking it sneaks him. through the cracks, you know. God damn it! So it's so fucking weird, man. Dude, they should just don't let him say any. Just let Trump do Trump stuff and tell Biden to shut the fuck up. Yeah, just sit there. Just lay low. Pretend yeah. you have coronavirus. Just lay <laughs> low. It's so ah. Uh, yeah, I think that's what another reason why I get exhausted is because it's another four. No matter what, even if it is Biden. It's another four years of like we need an to, old white dude, old white dude <laughs> running the country. We need to figure like, and everyone's still gonna be mad. Yep. Yeah, it's not gonna matter, and it's not gonna change anything. No, it's not. That's Nothing right. is gonna change. And Trump supporters are gonna be super mad. Yeah, yeah. And then Trump Jr. is gonna run in twenty oh, twenty four. Fuck. fuck, I don't. You know what really blows my mind is that he hasn't. By the way, this is not me saying I plan on doing this in no way shape or form do i ever have any intention of doing this as a hypothetical situation i'm for really actually paranoid about shit like that now i'm surprised no one's tried to assassinate him mm. or maybe we don't know maybe cia has like stopped it at some point but i'm really I surprised think the thing about him is that people are so emotional that they don't like take the step like the necessary steps for it to be successful. They're just like, I'm just gonna rush him with a right. pistol or whatever the fuck, you that know. Was, Jesus. They wouldn't like plan something out. Yeah. JFK style. Yeah. They like know the route. You know? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what were you doing first election night? Like when did when you Trump f- won? Yeah, what were you doing? I was living in Victorville and I was like I was sitting on my bed and I was probably I probably had something on my TV but I had my computer out and I was watching the yeah. the results. And I was sw- going back and forth between like CNN and Fox like on the on the internet just to see like who's getting the info first. And like I was as I was watching it, you know, like the East Coast results come in first 
And you're and like as I was watching, I was like, "Ooh, this doesn't look good." He got Ohio. I was like, "Oh, that's bad. That's not good." So uh, and I was watching. I was like, "Trump's gonna win." Yeah, yeah. What was weird is um during that whole like campaign cycle, like the first one, so like 2015. Yeah, I had a, a friend um who worked at the Improv who was uh, a U.S. Army paratrooper, mm. and he was like. Trump's going to win the election, dude. He's going to win. He bet money on it. Like, put a bunch of money on it. And this was, like, way back when everybody was like, he's yeah, a fucking yeah, joke. Yeah, he was a clown, yeah. Yeah, when he hadn't even been, like, selected as, like, the, the candidate. And he and he kept saying, and I was like, no way, dude. But he was a cool guy. Like, yeah, we yeah. just we hung out. He we wasn't, smoked. Like, it wasn't, just, like, a pro thing. It was just, like, a he's going to win. Um. Oh, ooh. No, he was, he was like, it's, but this was when he was, like, it was more, like, I don't know. He was like in support of the wall, not necessarily the wall. What was it? Was it the wall? Just shaking things up, basically that type of guy. Yeah, and like to get other countries to start giving us money back because we outsource so much stuff, like so much business gets outsourced that they get a lot of income basically just from our companies. And so his thought was like. Yeah, where we build this wall and then we start getting money from Mexico because a lot of like our uh, auto industry come is out of Mexico. What does building so, a wall? Oh no, it wasn't the the wall. There was there, it, Trump had a policy about outsourcing where he was gonna he wanted to like bring companies back and he was gonna start like taxing them. Actually, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he was talking about this before he got elected. Right, and so he wanted money, more money to be brought in from outsourced business like okay whatever i didn't agree with him but that was yeah what are you saying um did he is he seem like the type of guy to be like oh this was a mistake well before the election he went to texas and shot up a gas station and was killed by the cops ptsd yep true story yeah, I was close with them too. We were like buddies, like we were friends. We like hang out, like we work at the improv, and then we like get out of work and like hang out together. Th- that's really. He seems super normal. Like every time I talked to him, like he would tell me stories about like his uh, his tours and stuff. Yeah, and I would be like, dude, like how are you so normal? And he was like, I don't, I don't know, man. But apparently, he's, he was hiding some shit. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, that's. Yeah, that was that, rough. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. That's crazy. Why? Do you know? Okay. My question is, what happened to that money he bet on Donald <laughs> Trump? Because he probably got a bunch of money. I'm sure. He bet early, and he put a lot of money I'm on sure it. Sure, the, the government took that shit, probably. But not well, technically, he won, so it's I ours. Know, I don't know how like you bet on the president. It's probably like from Russia. Probably, you know, like <laughs> that's. But you know what's funny is that's. The type of person who would vote for Trump, yeah, like that makes perfect sense. You know, it's it's shocking the ending of that story, but yeah, that is when when I take a step back from it, like no, that sounds like the type of person. Yeah, he's thinking about money, he's think he's military, and he's mentally ill. Like he's yeah. he's relating. I think these people like him so much because they're meant in many ways they're mentally ill, mm-hmm. and they're re- they're seeing something similar. Like they're relating to the mental illness. I um. <laughs> uh, here's my theory why. Okay. Street stand up has changed my view on people a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are mentally ill. Oh yeah. I'm starting like not in, not in the not the, in the like diagnosable way. Right. But people's mental. I don't. I don't think people's mental health is, are at all okay. I think people hide it. Way it's not really something we w- <laughs> work on or like help or like not in talk America. about. Yeah. And I think that I'm just more vocal about it. Yeah. Because when I'm out there talking and I'm like, yeah, I'm crazy. I lost my God. This is crazy. Yeah, but most people don't know that they are are crazy. But Most crazy people don't know. Crazy. But I, it's weird. Like, the more I do it, the more I'm like, oh, I can, I can see it in their fucking eyes. Like, I can see, like, you're, you're, you're off. You're off. Everyone here who is still listening to me, there's something off. Yeah, that's. I mean, I noticed that going out there with you. 
the, the people out there, like, oh, these people are all fucking weird. Yeah. Like, you it takes a certain kind of person to, st- like, you have nothing going on. You're just walking the streets. Oh, I'll just sit here and watch this dude for an hour and a half. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, it's what's like wrong with you? Get a hobby. Don't you have a book to read? A comic book? Anything. Like, do something. You're just going to sit here and listen. Like, for 10... The same jokes. Yeah. For 10 minutes... Well, not anymore, because I, I just riff now, but yeah. for 10 minutes... Seems reasonable. Yeah. Like when, when people hang out for about 10 minutes, I'm like, okay, you're Throw probably, you a du- like $2 yeah. and see you later. It's like that type of person is a person who has their mental health together yeah. fully. Oh, maybe they were like, they went out for dinner and now they're coming out and yeah. like, oh, how crazy. This it's dude, a show. Stand up. Wow. Yeah. yeah dinner dinner, and dinner show. show. Yeah. And then they leave. A free show. Yes. But a very free show. Very, very free. Um, but very reasonably so. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, but. The people that stay for long periods of time, it's like, and there's a lot of them, and they just, but then there's the people who hate me that will stay for long periods of time. <laughs> it's That's so awesome. I've been telling people like, hey, I've been telling, this is what I've been saying to people on the street is, I do not respect Donald Trump as a leader, yeah, but I respect him as an entertainer, mm, in, the, in that he objectively is able to keep people's attention on him yeah. for so long. Like, we're living in a world where everything's distracting, and he's able to, like, something about him, he's able to get you to look at him. Yeah, and the haters are, like, helping. They like, feed they help into them. it, yeah. yeah. And I was trying to explain to people, like, I'm just like him. All I'm do- I'm not smart. I'm not red. I don't, I just sound interesting. I think you're smarter than Trump. Yeah, but... <laughs> in certain areas. In certain areas. In other areas, I don't know. He'll know more about business. Yeah, yeah. But, but like just common sense. Obviously, probably. your math is on point. So yeah, yeah I got my math. do you think you could beat him in algebra? No, you don't think so. I do not think so. Really? We've played Dungeons and Dragons, and you see me counting my hands. All That's the time. a good point. That's yeah. a good point. I yep. that yep. skill. But just, you were just bragging about how good you are at math. Well, because I'm really good at math. Are you good at math, or are you not? Because if, if you are, you should be able to. I'm like the best at math. Add I'm the best at head. math. No, nope, I'm the best at math. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best at math. And nobody maths better than me. Nobody does mathematics better than I do. Did you see his thing with H- on HBO? No. Jesus Christ. Oh, the interview? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't watch it. Oh, no, Will. I you, have to watch it? You got to watch this. All right, it's good? B- yeah, because most of the time they get them in sound bites and there's all these... Yeah, this is like a full... This is like a full interview. How long be- is it? Like 12 minutes? No, it's it's long. Oh. It, no, not long. It's like... Let's see. You know what? I have prep work for my D and D session tonight, so I'll watch it while I'm doing that. You really should because okay. it's. I'll let you watch it, but I mean, I'm, it's not like you have to convince me not to vote for him. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I. <laughs> like, it's it is so well, trans. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll fucking blow your mind. I don't care what you do anymore. It's like how mad would you be? What I'd if be what furious. if I came out of the voting booth with a MAGA hat on? And I was like, fucking tricked you. And I had revolvers at my side, and I pulled them out, and I went, bang, 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 bang. Do you have a big Yosemite Sam mustache, too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and a cowboy hat. Um, Holsters. Then if you did that, I would probably be dressed up as Bugs Bunny and do something awful. Yeah. Yeah. Throw a pie in my face. Yeah, something like that. A cream pie. Anyway. Um, Oh, but he's, it's so transparent, like how he's not, he's bullshitting. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's always been transparent, but the way it was presented was perfect. Because they didn't, they didn't like... Edit. Do, yeah, it was very... Was cool. it like one? No, it wasn't like one long shot. Multi-camera? But it, you could just feel the flow that this was really... Awkward? No, 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 that it was live. The, oh. the host is what, or the guy who interviews him is what makes it great, because he reacts perfectly, mm. where he's like, well, Mr. President, this, and he's like, that doesn't make... Like it's 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 like in <laughs> what really yeah it's like in the office when Jim when like something to the president oh that's scary dude no, I would you, not do that you have what are you looking for man I don't know <laughs> you have to see it's his the faces that man makes to, and it's exactly how you feel when you listen to Donald Trump you're like what the fuck is oh, there it is it's like what the fuck is he talking about. 38 minutes. No, it's worth it. You uh, you just need to see this. All right, dude. Um, but I tell people mm. out on the street, like, don't trust me. Don't trust any charismatic speaker. Just because someone can speak well doesn't mean that they know what they're talking about or right, that they're right. like, they're, your interest is in there. If anything, don't trust that because 
inherently they're they're you're a manipulative person if you can speak well. Yeah. And it's ironically, it's the quiet, smart. You know firsthand, wouldn't you? I'm the night guy. Yeah. Yeah. You're manipulative too. Don't act like you're not. Oh. You're super manipulative. Come on. We've gone over this, and you're far more manipulative than me. We've come to this conclusion. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not more manipulative than you, but you are manipulative. I'd just like you to acknowledge that you are manipulative. But I'm trying to explain to I'm people. I'm a mentalist, bro. <laughs> Is that how you get bitches at the bar? No. Yeah, think of a number, a 69. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... <laughs> But I tell, I've been telling people on the street, like, like I'm not, don't trust me. The only reason you can trust me is because I'm a comic and my intentions are just to make you laugh. And you know that. My intentions are to make you laugh and earn money that way. Yeah, but it shouldn't be like their source of like Yeah, I'm not, news. don't, yeah. I've been telling people over and over, like, don't, don't, you don't know. None of us know. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. Right. Nobody knows. I know. That's what I... I I hate about most people is that they just can't admit that they, they don't, don't know. know. They don't know. Yeah. They so don't you don't know. You don't know what's best. Sorry. Yeah. The the idea the to have the fucking ego mm-hmm. to think there's billions of years hu- humans have evolved all the way to this point. So many civilizations, so many leaders have come in and fall. And empires have been d- mm-hmm. bu- built, and you think you have all the answers. Like you think you with your fucking Google? Yeah, I mean, I Googled it and I <laughs> and YouTube you f- searched it and yeah. I found exactly what I wanted to hear. You know, the Hodge twins—they just seem to be making a lot of sense. <laughs> like, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Some of the the stuff I've hear out there because there's people say to me they do research, and I know they don't do research. Not real research. Not Those real. People research. don't know what real research they is. They have no fucking idea. Yeah. And so peer reviewed articles, is that what you're reading? No. You're They're reading looking, scientific journals? It's it is like political science, economy. Are you reading those? Are you reading those? The was, economist? What was really crazy is they they have guns. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm telling yeah. that's why like November scares the shit out of me. They have guns. Yeah. But, like, what, are they just going to start attacking people? Like, I just don't understand. I wouldn't, would you be surprised? Have you heard about Huntington Beach? What about it? Do you know what it looks like out there? No, I haven't been there. I don't watch the news. Dude. Just tell me. No, No, leave that up. You got to see Huntington Beach. Oh, my God. Why do you always have to show me something? Because just I'm trying. Tell me. Just use I'm your words. I'm and trying to drop it to me. knowledge. Be a comedian and just <laughs> use your words. Fuck. I'm trying to drop knowledge on your bitch ass. I don't. Yeah. So use your words and drop knowledge. Explain to me what's happening. It's basically it's become Alabama at the beach. Okay. But it's so like people are refusing to wear masks and. You saw the uh, the surfer dudes trying to. Yeah, get yeah, yeah, that's yeah. funny. It's basically that, but scarier. Like they're showing you the little like it's it's real fucked up out there apparently I don't know I'm not going out there. But also, don't like, listen to me. I don't know. I don't have proof. But, yeah, I wasn't there. Black people getting attacked or I don't think black people go there anymore. Really? I think it's really that bad. Huntington Beach. I don't think I've ever been there. It's very red. Very very red. Very. And this uh, typing by Aaron Break is brought to you by... You did some typing break, whatever. Welch's Grape Juice. <laughs> Remember the Welch's PBS um, commercials? Um, no, actually. Oh, wait, the one with yeah, Arthur? such a fucking shitty childhood. The one with Arthur? Sure. What's this? This is Huntington Beach. What are they doing? They are protesting. What are they protesting? Black Lives Matter. Wait, I'm confusing. I'm confused. They're protesting the protest of Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Oh, that's that you like looking at those like 25 people. No, you gotta like. Okay, there's like a hundred in that shot. It's oh, good. it's growing. Oh my god, it's growing. It's getting it's getting bigger. Is this a drone sh- footage? It's just fucking wing, gang, 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 gang. Unlawful assembly declared at California's Huntington Beach after. Something happened. 
Protest against police violence, of course. It's. Let's see. <laughs> I really, I love the uh, the the surfer mask guys. Yeah, that's pretty funny. They're they're so like. I don't know. They're so wholesome. All right, this one's called Defending Huntington Beach. Somebody get her my num- give her my number. Yeah. Her <laughs> anger turns you on. Yeah, she's hot. She's got a nice mouth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, do you hear that music? That's when the 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 beat drop. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is crazy. I like to picture a metal band off to the side. You just don't see them. This is dope. I like this video. It's insane, man. It's weird to know, like, oh, I've I've hung out there. You know that. You don't know this area. All right, you get it. Oh, my God. Uh Uh-oh. Well, you know. Black Lives Matter versus MAGA, Huntington Beach. I don't, don't want to watch this. Yeah, you done? Yeah. Tap out. Smart. I don't need to see that shit. Yeah. I don't get it in my algorithm either. It's like the new, like, death videos. What? Like the new, like, people getting their heads chopped off. You just... watched snuff videos? No. It's saying that's the new one that I don't want to watch. Any, I don't want to watch it. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I, also I don't want to watch people getting killed. I don't want to watch people fighting over... It's awful whether words. black people matter <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you t- like what is the problem yeah it's I just made, so dumb well i made a whole and i don't want to get caught up in it i made a know? whole comedy special about that yeah where can people watch it on youtube what what youtube it's on the buddy system comedy on youtube wow so if you go to youtube.com slash the buddy system comedy you can watch your full special right now right now wow it's called the one man show and comedy who's 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 in it uh it's a me it's a one-man show. oh you're starring it yeah who wrote it me who performed it me whoa i'm a narcissist wow yeah good for you thank you you should feel good about yourself um you walk away from this feeling good <laughs> i'm mostly feeling like i hope people like it i don't know it's weird it's I just mean, weird yeah i feel like that's how you're supposed to feel i just hope people like it yeah it's just weird cool all right, so go watch Aaron special, and you can find us on different social medias. I'm at the underscore Slim Henderson. He's at Aaron Chase ninety one. You're on Twitter now at Aaron Chase nine one one because he's a fucking snitch. Um, on Twitter, I'm at Dust Slim Henderson. So holla at us, um, send us some questions or something, and uh, we'll see you next week. I guess. Do you have any last words? No. Cool.